conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Valerell, the four-time national champion and the super genius. I've got another science story here. It really dovetails off the, the, the video that I just did. If that theory is indeed true, that the interchange between different plants of debris, maybe from big volcanic explosions or meteorites or collisions or whatever, was fairly common at the early stages of the, of the solar system and perhaps even potentially prolific. If that is true, and if possibly that then those fragments that were shared between the different plants then carries with it, you know, microbes or, you know, little elements of life and stuff like that that can then sort of, if you will, seed other planets. Think about the implications of that. If that is indeed true, how widespread then potentially is alien life, extraterrestrial life? In other words, the idea would be if, it, if, it, if life could happen here on Earth, where else could it happen? If it happened through this method, does that then raise the stakes and raise the opportunity, raise the possibility that there is actually a lot of alien life out there? And where could it be and how advanced do you think that it might be? This in my personal opinion, is a very interesting uh, thing to think about. I mean, when you're talking about the grand scheme of things in terms of the age of the Earth versus some of the other plants and some of the other, uh, uh, you know, uh, galaxies and stuff out there, you know, right there, I mean, there are much older systems out there than our solar system and the Earth. So who knows what kind of of advancements and what kind of technology and what kind of stage of evolution those life forms may have. Think about that. What do you think about that? Do you believe that there is, there is uh, life on other planets out there in the universe, number one? Number two, how widespread do you think it is? And with this theory that one of the researchers from Princeton has put out there as a possibility how does that impact your analysis on the possibility of widespread alien life in the universe? What do you think about that? What do you think about this theory? How that might impact your thinking on that? And what else are we going to find out next? You tell me all that and more. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You're watching conservative new media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it on your social networking sites. Also, be sure to join the Conservative Media Facebook group. We're over 2,000 members and growing fast. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.